Oh, you know what? It's going to hit the wall. We're not going to do it. Oh, wait. We're, we're pushing it up in the air. One of us is going up anyway. Yeah. We're going to mate with this one. <laughs> Weird things are happening. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm going backwards now. Yeah, I'm gonna let you out. You bet. I mean, I don't even know if they can get in here. Probably should... not. Oh, I've been I'm being shot at by somebody. I can't even oh, see yeah. him. Wow. How can you see me, the bugger? Yeah, they're going to have a hard time getting in, you're right. Artillery strike them. Oh, they're pushing now. I can't see them. That's the oh man, they're all here. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Because if they kill this, uh, this thing here... Watch out, T-34, right there. Oh my god, there's so many here. <laughs> oh, behind! Somebody got me from behind! There's a T-34 behind! Oh, yeah, yeah! Oh, he got oh bombed! My God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, this is hilarious. <laughs> Don't even try to gauge, we're just gonna hold him here. I just dropped RD, so hopefully we get someone. Oh, somebody shot my machine gun, I think. Well, that's not nice. Oh, they got me, wow. Damn. Oh, I've got an idea. Hold them there. I'm bringing a bomb. <laughs> no, they're pulling them out. Okay, hold on for a few more minutes. L literally a minute, I'm coming. <laughs> but when I drop the bombs, you're gonna have to hit the reverse. How many are there? Um, three or three. four, was it? Okay, I'm passing over you any second now. I'm going to turn around and I'm coming in. See if I can get a visual on them. I'm pretty much dead. They're pulling all the barricades out. Oh, no. Oh, you got, got one. one. <laughs> Damn. Okay, bombs are going on the T-34. Here we go. Get out of there now. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are taking a look at the M4A5, the Canadian Ram 2. This is a heavily modified version of the M3 Lee. Like we just take a look at the M3 Lee here, you can definitely see some similarities. Obviously they have really heavily modified this chassis. So they've obviously made it much, much shorter, it's not as tall as the M3 Lee. You got rid of this whopping big gun on the side. 
and in addition they have replaced the main turret with a British six pounder. This is a 57mm gun, very very good gun. 4.5 second reload with an average crew and over 90 millimeters of penetration provided you are within 500 meters. And yeah, this was all built and designed by the Canadians. They basically didn't have a tank during World War II that they could call their own. And this is what they came up with. In game, it sits at 3.7 battle rating in the American tech tree. Very, very balanced battle rates in this one. Uh, 3.7 in general is just known for being balanced between all the nations. So obviously, America has their M4s, the M24. Um, Germany has the Panzer 3s. Russia have their T-34s and the KV-1 ZIS-5. And Britain have the Cromwells and the Crusaders. So pretty much everything you face there, the Ram 2 will be able to get through. Even the KV-1, which is possibly the worst thing you can face in this, uh, but it will actually get through. Obviously you do need to know your weak spots, so you do need to know how to take care of their turret and the gunner first. But provided you do know the weak spots, you should be able to get up to three shots off before they even have chance to recover and rotate crew positions. So yeah, provided you know where to shoot, you should be good in this tank, unless you do something disastrously wrong. Armour is also very decent. We have 88mm at the front plate, which means you can almost treat this like a heavy tank. But it does have some glaringly obvious weak spots, so the first one being the driver's port on the 50mm of armour there. And if we bring up the x-ray view, what is behind that driver port, we have an ammo rack. So if somebody manages to get a shot in there, that definitely has the potential to one shot kill you. Now the second weak spot is the machine gun here. So again, 50 millimeters on average. And the third weak spot is going to be the turret. So although it's quite thick up here, you got roughly 70 millimeters, 76 down here. But yeah, this plate here, so if you manage to get a shot in these holes, that's only 38 millimeters. And this U-shape is also only 44. So it has some massive weak spots there. Uh, very, very susceptible to machine gun fire and basically anything that can get a shot in there. Um, so my advice is, obviously, if you have bushes, use them to conceal these weak spots here. And beyond that, when you're firing, possibly turn your turret to the side while you reload, because it actually has more thickness on the side than it does on the front. So you've got 76 millimeters on the side, and despite the weak spots, you've only got 69. So yeah, definitely turn your turret away. But beyond that, uh, there's not really much that can kill you with this battle rating. Despite the glaringly obvious weak spots, this is an extremely survivable tank. I don't know what it is, whether it's just the slopes armor in general, or I'm just playing against inexperienced tankers, but whenever I take this Ram 2 out, it just seems invincible. It's very, very rare that I actually get one shot killed. And for the most part, it just bounces shots like a boss. The only real threat that I perceive is the German big guns, so 75mm and upwards, because they have the potential to get through this anywhere, really. Um, possibly the dreaded KV-1 as well, just because that weak spot can be quite tough to hit. Um, but beyond that, there just really isn't a whole lot that can kill you. Uh, this BR is just so well balanced, you haven't got any worries, even the Russian T-34s. Again, provided you know where to hit that weak spot, you can take their gunner out first. You're going to be able to fire three shots before they can even recover. And by that time, they're hopefully going to be dead. So you just haven't got anything really to worry about. It's a very, very fun tank. Not convinced? Well, let's take a look at some gameplay and we'll see how the Ram fares.
Okay, stallion rats, so we're going to take the M4 to begin with, and we're going to take up position in our usual spot. So, A side, right flank. Hopefully we'll have some teammates to help us out. Let's drop some RT on the entrance to A. Right there, should do it. I would have brought the ram, but I think the M4 is better suited on this map just because of the snow. I don't know why, but the, the ram is absolutely terrible in the snow. Makes no sense at all being Canadian. But yeah, it's the traverse and everything, the tracks, it just does not like snow. So we'll see how we get on with the M4. Take a ride through this building. There goes the artillery. Seems to be clear, so we'll try and push up here. Oh, somebody's there, I think. Smoke. Should they round the corner if they come inside the building? We do have some friendlies here. Here's something, but I think that's friendly. Well, let's push up and see what happens. I just want to get in my position before it's too late. So, that looks clear. If there was anybody, I would have expected them to be waiting in there. This spot is very risky, but it pays off big time if you manage to make it. Right now, I could easily get a shot in the back. And this is a very tight squeeze in here. But yeah, the ground is low down, so you're well hidden. And provided you have teammates in A as well, it just provides... Oh, it causes chaos, man. They have no idea. Look at this T-34. Try and go for that turret ring. And, yeah, T-34 bounces it. Good old Russian tanks. I don't know how they manage it. Oh, no, we got the assist from one. The other one got killed. So let's squeeze through here. I'm going to try and peek around the corner. I mean, we certainly have enough guys at A here. Seems to be clear. Oh, is that a human? Yep, human's dead. And we got somebody on A. Not sure how that happened. Let's take a left into A. Stug. Then get him in the side, I'm gonna rack him. 22 finished him off. Great. Probably gonna head around the back.
There's bound to be somebody around here. See anybody yet? I'll peek with the camera. Oh yeah, there is something there. Uh, humor is it again? Yep. Now they tell with all the bushes they have on these things. So two of our guys have left. Day. Eh? I think what we will do is turn back around. Make our way back to A now. Drop artillery where that marker is. Apparently somebody's there, I guess. Oh yeah, another T-34. I'm going to try and cut him off in here. Where is he? Has he gone round? There he is. For his barrel. Somehow I missed. Wow. Got him that time. That's his ring. Oh. Somebody else is here. Yeah, we're really screwed. And there's a puma. No. Oh. oh. So close. So close. We almost had him. Three guys on us. So unfair. Um, yeah, I think we'll take the plane. We do have both points. And there's a few headed to A. We know there's at least three there, so it makes sense, right? They've got one plane up. Trying to get rid of our bombs. It'd be nice if we've got all three of them. I think I see the T-34. My bomb's away. Oh, we only got one. I mean, it was the T-34. Still got rockets, so... Fire on this guy. Another one. That was a Zis-30 as well. He's trouble. And somebody... Who's shooting at us? Oh, we got... A 210 on us, I think. Still functional. Just one tail down. Looks like A's got him anyway. Yeah. So we're good again. We got Oh we used all our rockets, so we're pretty much done anyway. I'll just see if I can spot anybody and then I'll jump back in the ram. We got something there. A truck. I have to get him. Oh. The AA's got us, I'm gonna just bail out. We're losing the points, so the longer we stay in it, the more we're gonna lose. So let's take our RAM out. The good old Canadian RAM.
think we'll head towards A again and then we can move into B from there. Gotta be careful coming through here now, there could be people waiting. They like to hide in the buildings. Oh, our, our team managed to get all the points back, which is good. For a second there, I thought it might be over. Drops RT on C there. Might help our team out. Sneaky route here through the factory. And I'm guessing that area is clear because we have friendlies in there. So we should be safe to push to A. Somebody's capping. So at least we know somebody's going to be there. Sure the M4 just got him. Uh, is this 12? I will take up position here again. Now a little hidey hole. This team are putting up a fight. They've actually capped the zones again. Got a feeling this is going to be a close game. So A is clear. Again, just dropping RT on B. And we got stuck in a hole. Oh damn, we're stuck on the same pole again. So we should be saved to move into towards B now. We go. Oh, wait. C34. Yeah, another C34. Move to the back, can't quite get a hit on him though. I think he's turrets that one, I'm not sure. Okay, hey, he's gone. Under three. I think there might be something else on beat. C34 there. Not sure what that is. Okay, where's oh C34 is pushing us? Oh no. Yeah, he's got his fuel. Oh, I hate these things. 
Oh, thank God. Friendly took him out. <laughs> I thought that was it then. So we'll drop some more arty. There, there was a guy around there, so... See if we can pick him up. Got him. Okay, we capped Charlie, so there's no rush reload to cap B. Somebody at the back of it? something I don't know oh damn we got him I was lucky that was literally a blind shot really see a bit of smoke and that was it are we capping B and we'll just hold position here not the best of positions but it is what it is God damn, somebody's on A as well. E34. And of course, it bounces again. God damn. Tried to save him. That's on A. Oh, another T34. That was actually lucky. I just stopped there with the artillery. Just out of coincidence. I see him. Oh, it was a C50. Interesting. Well, let's get to A. I'm be very close this game. I don't know if we can win or not. They're Captain Charlie as well, so I think they might actually win it. Oh, what's happening? Are we, are we decapping it? No, they got Charlie. I think it's over. See what we can do here. But we are on a time limit. E34 is it? I can't quite get the depression. Oh, we got him! Wow. <laughs> hey, the guy's capping it. So we'll hold up in here for a second. Stuck on that stupid pole again. Looks like we're also decapping Charlie as well. Oh, well, it's not over. Might as well get the cap. And I guess while we're here, we could get our crew back. I mean, we may as well. Let's get our crew. Well, they're capping B. I don't know what to do here. Should I leave these guys here? Or should I go to B? Oh, they're getting Charlie as well. I'm going to have to go. Damn ram is terrible in the snow. Oh, 
was such a close game as well. They're gonna win it. So close. Hold up, we got somebody on B. I don't think they can cap it in time, but it's possible. No, they got it. Oh, so damn close. That's one of the closest games I've played in a while. That was good, that one. Oh well, can't win them all. Alright, so Abandoned Factory. I think we'll go Charlie, so we'll spawn point one. And we'll head on the riverside, just to be sneaky. I mean, we could go straight across, but I just think the ram is more suited to, you know, sneaky flanking tactics, even though it's not a fast tank. So we'll go all the way to the bottom and take a left. Kind of use these coal piles here as cover. Make it hard for them to spot me. There's almost certainly going to be somebody up here. So we'll take it nice and slow, get ready to pop a shot off. Oh, there's somebody. Looks like a Panzer IV, is it? Yeah, that's a Panzer IV for sure. So I'm gathering he's seen me. I'll just hide behind these piles of coal. Not chance to just yet. Yeah, he's definitely seen me. Hiding behind the train. So I'll wait to see what he does. I could probably get the first shot off, I just don't want to risk it. A big 75mm gun he's got can shred me. Oh, he's pushing forwards. Um, you know, I think what we're going to do, we're going to push forwards. Head to Charlie's side because we know somebody is there. They just capped it. He won't be expecting us to do this. And while he takes time to look for me, we can hopefully do something at Charlie. And turn around and get him. Oh, somebody just flew by on Charlie's side there. That's a stug. Some bad dudes on here, we gotta be careful. Shoot the stug on the side, and we're acting. I lost where the other guy went, I didn't quite catch where he went. There's the Panzer floor, we should be okay from him for now. Oh. Nope, that's the Panzer IV shooting at me. Wow, he's got a fast reload on that thing. He just took out my driver. Did not expect that. Okay, we're back up with the gun. Try and take his breach. Yep, we've got his breach, so he can't fire back now. In the center. Yeah, that went through. One more. Should do it. Yeah, and that's him gone. Well, he's no longer a problem. Oh. Where's that? 
Where? I don't see him. Oh yeah. Probably gonna be dead here. Is it one or two? I'm quite sure what it is. Oh, it looks like a Panzer three, I guess. Okay, guns back up. Yes. This guy's done a real number on us. Yes, got him all. Another one. Looks like he's going around back. We can get this guy. Yes. Another one gone. I mean, he took out all our crew pretty much, so we're not going to be operating at full potential. I have to be very careful here. Feel like another Panzer 3 or 4 even that went around the back, so definitely going to play this cautious. I hear him. There he is. Now oh, I've got Bushy, so hopefully he hasn't seen me. I should be able to get the first shot off. I've got the stabilizer after all. Take out his breach. And we'll put one in the side. Good, we got his engine. Now try for one in the middle. That's him gone. Easy. We're actually having a good game here. Four kills, I think we got the cap as well earlier. Somebody on Charlie again. Got a friendly there as well, so let's we'll see what happens. What is it? It's, oh no, it's a, one of those Japanese things, cheese. Hi, whatever it is. Just drop out artillery there, see if anybody picks up on it. I think we'll just hide on this right flank here because we are severely limited with our crew. So long as that guy doesn't come and revenge kills in a bomber, we'll be okay. And our team is doing pretty well. Got all the points. So we've got five kills, two assists. And their team is looking pretty much done at this point. I mean, we could probably push forward, but like I said, I don't want to chance it. I'll wait a bit longer. Just keep checking this right flank. There's bound to be somebody that tries to come this way. We do have a plane up, so you would think he would have shot at anything he's seen. I'm thinking I might just go for it. We are pushing them back, although we're losing here as well. It's clear again. So, I think we'll, we will just go for it. If we have to do, we can push up towards A. I think the team will be able to take care of that. Got both their spawns covered, pretty much. And a four near A. I'm really surprised there's nobody up this way. P 
puke over here. Oh, what's this? SU-76, he's gone. Another guy on our right. Not quite see him. What are you? Oh, another Panzer three, I think. So we'll try and go for that middle plate again. And he's gone again. So we're getting a fantastic game here. I think we're on seven kills. Anymore? I thought later on B. We're good from the right. We're giving up spawn on this side. I think with single handle they took out everybody on this side. And that should be game in a second from the looks of it. Yeah, that's game. Oh, well, we've got Survivor. Heavy Metal Hero as well. Okay, we're on Cargo Port. We've got the Ram again. So we're going to head up towards B there. At the main road. Some artillery on B. I'm thinking I'll probably hide out behind these walls here as well and just listen for a second or two. Make sure nobody's coming up from the side. So we'll put a shot right there. I'm just going to stay here for a second or two and, and listen. Make sure nobody's going to push forwards, especially from this road down here. Kind of hard to see. It does look to be clear. Here's somebody on my left. I think they're on the left. Yeah, there's somebody definitely there. Make sure it's clear up there again. I'm just going to push forward to these cats here and hold. See if we can spot him. So looks like a panzer. He bounced the first shot. Got him. And there's also a stuck behind. The driver port. Somebody on the left there as well. Just put some artillery on them. I've got somebody here. Why is he friendly? I can't quite tell what's going on here.
Have a quick look around here. Someone shooting at us. It came from that M4A. I'm gonna go help our friend out, I think. We've got our teammate on the right there, the M4. I'm gonna reverse and give him a hand. He just got taken out. I'm gonna push forward. Yeah, I don't want to stay here too long, so I'm gonna push up. I think he's on the left, but I'm not I'm not sure. Oh yeah. You're not a dead tank. Somebody is. And the... Into the middle again. Okay, let's push up again. Drop some artillery there, make sure nobody's there. Oh, yeah, he's added to Bravo, so I'm going to reverse and, and go back to Bravo here. Oh, the Panzer III. There's a lot of Panzer III's in this game. I think we're actually just facing Germany. Oh, well, there's no Russians to deal with. Hey, okay, somebody spotted him. Where is he? Like he's in between the houses. And the turret if we can. There we go. And apparently there's somebody else on the other side of this building. Looks like another F2, so we've got to be careful here. Okay, he's distracted. Again, one in the turret. Best way to take care of those things. One shot, one kill. Especially from the side they have just no armor at all. Okay, we'll cap B and we're gonna head off uh, back to where we just were. Enemies capping A. So as soon as my artillery is ready, I'm gonna drop that on A there. We'll drop artillery the right there. Let's check nobody's pushing up on this road. Thought he was enemy there for a second. Italy have a captured Sherman. Oh, we have got Sweden as well. So There's probably a Swedish um, Sherman we saw. Another Panzer III took out his ring. So 
we'll finish this guy off and then we'll move up. Oh, somebody beat us to it. I hear somebody else. Yep. Another Panzer three. Wow. He's gone. They're on six kills. Not bad. It's actually been a decent game. This. I'm not sure. There's somebody else on the left here. Oh, is that a friendly I can hear? Not behind me. Our teammates have got the right side covered. They should be okay there. Might as well push up with them. Game's about to end anyway. That's a dead tank. we got something heavy on the right here. Could be a captured KV or something. What is it? Oh, it's a stug. Not too bad, one in the side. And that's seven kills. Let's see if we can just push up a bit. I don't want to push their spawn too hard. Oh, they're capping Charlie. The game's over anyway. They'd have to cap A as well, or even B. But I think it's over for them. Yep, that's game. So we got Heavy Metal Hero. Seven kills, one cap, one assist. That was a, a fantastic game. Really happy with that. So... The Canadian Ram 2, a very fun tank to play indeed. Fast reload combined with good all-round armour makes this an ideal tank to put into a 3.7 lineup. Would I buy the Ram again given the chance? Absolutely. Combined with the M4, the M24 and the M10, honestly you argu arguably have one of the best, the most fun lineups in the game currently. Throw in an F6F 5 with bomb and rocket capabilities and you even have some close air support. So guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. If you made it to the end, I hope you enjoyed and thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Give the video a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Even post some comments in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers, death.